Hey guys, it's Nat here on Conscious Creating, and today I'm excited to share with you guys an experience that I did, which was a one month, five minute shower challenge. And I know that that's going to sound like nothing to most people because there are a lot of people on the day to day, they only have time for five minute showers, or they're very functional people, and that's more than enough time for them. But I guess for me and people like me who have taken pretty long showers in their life, you know, like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, um, I guess it's a challenge. You could call it a challenge, as sad as that may sound. But anyway, the whole point of the challenge for me personally was for environmental conservation reasons, simply to conserve water. Basically, the premise of this video is going to be me talking about the experience of going from taking about 15 minute showers to dropping it down to five minutes. I didn't, I didn't want to compromise the relaxation, the relaxation aspect, aspect of showers. Of showers. Um, um, I wanted to I maintain, wanted to maintain that. that. So, so I went online, I went online to see the tips and to see, and to see what, I what I can do. do. I have a link posted below for the source for this um, little green tip that was on Harvard University's uh, sustainability website. And it was called Five Ways to Measure a Five Minute Shower. So some of the five different tips that they had was to have a shower timer. I didn't want to buy one, so I didn't use that. But some other tips that they have that honestly weren't very appealing to me because it, I'll read them to you, but it literally feels like it's a countdown. Like here's the countdown to your shower. And it's like, I don't, I, I hope most of you guys don't want that. Another idea that they had was to set a watch timer or, you know, um, a watch clock. Um, also to sing the ABCs 10.5 times and to stop on M on the 11th time. And another tip that they had was to count backward from 300. And they said that that seems meditative and relaxing. I guess I would go for that one if I really didn't have music, but honestly, the music thing worked for me. It says here that the average shower in America is eight minutes long, and also the Environmental Protection Agency estimates that the standard shower heads use 2.5 gallons of water per minute. Per minute! That's crazy! That's a lot of water! And, um... They're saying over here that for the average American that takes an eight minute shower, that's about 20 gallons of water. It's crazy, right? Oh my God, that's why you clicked on this video. You want to change this. Um, but anyway, they're just suggesting that it would be a really huge help if most people just even took off three minutes out of their showers. So that's what I decided to do for one month. What I felt about my showers, the experience, it felt actually like it was more than enough time. So if you want to walk away from this video feeling, hey, am, can I take a five minute shower and actually feel like I got clean because that's what I care about. I feel like a five minute shower is more than enough time to wash your face, wash your body. On the other hand, we'll get to hair in a second, washing your hair. But just to clear the air, Five minutes is perfect amount of time for me anyway to wash my face and to wash my body. It was absolutely perfect. And on top of that, it was also a perfect amount of time where I felt like I could relax during my shower and I wasn't compromising my um, the enjoyment aspect of showers. Like I wasn't going crazy like, <sighs> you know, like, <sighs> like <laughs> going crazy, like trying to shower myself really fast. Fast, you know, like it didn't feel like a two or three minute shower. It felt like, and it's funny because I think when you think, when you hear five minutes, you probably think that you're literally rushing while you're showering. But I not once had to rush while I was showering. It was really helpful to listen to music, to listen to a song that I know well, because once a certain chorus hits in the song, I already know, okay, that's the last chorus. So let me kind of wrap up right now with this shower. And I didn't really find it challenging, you know, it wasn't difficult. If anything, it just felt more like a compromise because I'm going to tell you right now, 
it's so I love taking long showers. I really did. Like and, and what's funny is that it this was probably the last thing that I was thinking about changing in my life. Um when it came down to living more sustainably. Usually I think about what I eat, the products I use, but I never really let the thought cross my mind about how much water I'm using and how much water I'm using during my showers. So um it's but I don't feel like this is a crazy compromise in my life either. If, you know, you do the research and you feel like, okay, this is something that I can do to help and I'm really not giving up that much in my life, then why not do it? That's the way that I think about it. So I did commit to this and I did take four to five minute showers, except for four days in a month. And that goes into the hair. I found that it really was not enough time to rinse your hair, wash it, do your whole shampoo and conditioner regimen, and actually feel like you have a clean. Like in, in the first day where I had to, where I was in this challenge and I had to wash my hair, I was, you know, trying. I was like, okay, let me keep up, let me keep up. Ooh, like, and I was like really like scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. And I was like, wait, I can't do this. Like I I, hygiene's important to me, so um, I'm not going to compromise that. I want to walk out of my shower feeling like I washed my hair, not like I half washed my hair. In the first day in the challenge where I had to wash my hair, the shower that I aimed to be five minutes turned out to be ten minutes because I have very thick, naturally curly hair, so it takes me a very long time to really get that good clean. So yeah, so there were four days in that entire month where I I didn't compromise. I was like, I'm going to wash my hair and I'm going to wash it well. So <laughs> it turned into a 10 minute shower, which sucks. So I guess I technically it's not like I went through this clean streak of an entire 30 days. So I wanted to talk about shaving, <laughs> shaving your body, legs, face, whatever you shave, rather than just having that water run and run and run while I'm shaving. So what I decided to do, and this was a tip that I actually read on other, you know, water conservation articles, which is basically to catch the water that falls from the shower head or from the tub while it's heating up, while, you know, you're, you're waiting for <laughs> your, your water to heat up so you don't freeze your pants off, but they're already off, right? But <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, so catching that water. That was going to go down the drain anyway. So that's basically what I did throughout this whole month was that whenever there was a day where I knew that I was planning on shaving, I would just bring this plastic tub and use that, you know, put that bucket aside, hop in the shower and use it to rinse off my razor. So that was a pretty cool shift for me. And, and that's something that I'm going to continue doing. That's basically everything that I have to say. It didn't feel like a burden to me or a huge sacrifice. Um, it was actually really fun and I actually felt like a little accomplishment at the end of my shower. You know, I was like, Ooh, yeah, like I took a five minute shower. Like I did it. Like <laughs> let me have this, my little glory. Um, no, but yeah, it was, it was a really cool experience to know that, you know, um, shaving off those few minutes of shower and it, it saves a good amount of gallons of water um and that's something to think about do I actually feel like I'm gonna commit in the long term like for the rest of my life to the shower challenge the five minute shower challenge yeah for sure I feel like in the first few days that I did this challenge I already got a sense that I was like yep I would do this in the long term this is not that bad. This is actually nice. This is just, it feels like it's just enough. It's kind of like that feeling of satisfaction that you get when you have a healthy meal that's got everything that you need. Like you have your fibrous, nutrient rich greens and you know, like brown rice and all that good stuff all packed on your plate. And you know, it's like, it, it's not like it's this luxurious plate of food that you get from a five star restaurant or you know, like super, you know, an explosion on your taste buds kind of experience, but it feels simple and it feels just enough. And that's what a five minute shower feels like to me. It feels like just enough. 
and it feels like just enough time for it to be enjoyable. I think walking away for everybody who's watching this video, I really, I would recommend it. And I really hope that y'all consider this challenge. Do it for one month. For, for all of you people who really care about environmental conservation, then this would be a really, really great addition to other lifestyle changes and, and habits that you guys have been changing. I feel like I'm, I'm really glad that I got to share this with you guys and I got to talk, have any conversation with you guys about this experience. I'm looking forward to having, to doing more challenges and to um, maybe redefine what a challenge is because a lot of times the things that we've been doing for a really long period of time, we consider it to be a challenge because we're kind of stuck in our ways and we're like, yes, this is the way I am and this is how I'm going to be forever kind of thing. And, and I don't know if I can change this in, in this way or make this tweak because then I'm going to have to compromise something really good that I have going on here. But I think compromise is great. I think compromise is you having a conversation with someone else. Compromise is you can win and I can win too. And if we're having a conversation with the planet, then we're willing to accommodate the planet and say, you know what, I'm going to enjoy my five minute show, you know, but I'm going to make it a little shorter for you because we've got to save water, right? After doing this challenge, I actually feel inspired to start a one month, three minute challenge during the month of July and see if I can do it. Shave off two more minutes off of this five minute shower. I'm gonna try doing that. I'm also gonna try committing to um, washing my hair in a more water sustainable way. I'm gonna try to make a tweak around that and just basically make little tweaks and changes to my shower routine um, and kind of learn from little bumps in the road that I had with this five minute shower because there are a lot of things like as I was, I was tripping off and like, you know, trying to, catch the water in, in my plastic basin like as I was falling and then you know like I was trying to get it out as quickly as possible so that I could actually jump into the hot water shower and you know still have enough time to bathe and enjoy my shower I'm like like all these seconds matter it really makes you appreciate every single second or minute that you have that you're using the water because you have this time limit it's like every single second in that shower counts and I really really enjoyed it like after I would have a workout, man, it was like, <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> but um, it was an enjoyable experience. And I hope again that you guys try it. I think it's so cool and awesome to connect with other people who are like-minded and are interested in environmental conservation. It's so, it's just awesome. It's really beautiful. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. For more videos like this on conscious creating. Take care. Bye.